The Charlotte area under a tropical storm warning as we speak. Yeah, the biggest impacts in the Carolinas will be strong winds, heavy rain. That rain could create flooding. WCNC Charlotte meteorologist Brittany Van Voorhees shows us how deadly flooding can be. Over the past decade, there have been over 1,000 floods right here in the Carolinas. Flooding is the second highest cause of weather-related deaths in the United States. That's why you'll hear, turn around, don't drown many times during severe weather. Six inches of running water can knock a person down, but 12 to 24 inches can float a vehicle, including trucks and SUVs. One of the biggest mistakes we make, trying to cross a flooded roadway. Barrier or no barrier, just don't do it. This is even more dangerous at night. You are unaware of the depth and you don't know what critters are underneath the black water. Now, during a flash flood, the best thing you can do is get to higher ground and avoid low spots. Before a potential flood, know your risk and stay weather aware. The National Weather Service has also adjusted their flood warnings to make them easier to understand. When warned for a flash flooding event, there are three tiers. The most common is a base tier. Whenever the wireless emergency alert system informs you on your phone, that means the event is either considerable or catastrophic. No matter the risk, the WCNC weather team is here to help you stay vigilant. No flood water is a safe place to be. For WCNC Charlotte, I'm meteorologist Brittany Van Voorhees.